Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show off this Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, just in case anyone who watches my stuff doesn't have access to it and uh, hasn't seen anything on it yet. There is an interactive cinematic kind of thing that's pretty cool, but this is the real thing. This is the real thing to pay attention to. It's a very promising look at the future of games, I think. This, this city that you can walk around in and explore is both bigger and more impressive than I thought it was going to be before I loaded this thing up. I, I wasn't expecting much, to be honest. There's not a ton that you can actually do, but the city is pretty massive, and it looks amazing. I'll just show you the couple things you can do, and that way, if you have access to this, you, you should get on and explore yourself. But you can, there's a, a system menu, gives you a map, and it has all these markers. Each of these markers, we'll go to one real quick, each of these markers shows an area where there's a, a plaque that you can read. There's a faster way to get around than running, but I'm going to run for now. So we actually started near one and I forgot about it. But This lets you know that items on the map lead to plaques like this one. And then each have little Easter eggs or little information. Uh, but we'll, we'll go to one that I think is one of the coolest ones very soon. So from the options menu, you can do a couple neat things. One being changing the angle of the sun. I thought this was pretty neat. So. You can check the, the shadows and the lighting on the world at all angles of the sun. And it's not very useful, I guess, but it is a very neat little feature that I think they, they put into this to just show. And then you can change how dense the crowd is in the streets. You can eliminate it completely. Same thing with traffic driving on the streets and the cars on the sides of the streets. You can also change all the interactable objects or the objects with physics into kind of these just orbs of light, cubes, light cubes I guess I should say. And then there's, uh, you can change the coloration to have this kind of matrix green filter or have that off and then there's uh, this which I think is more for the people who are actually programming using Unreal Engine to show different views on the pixelation of the objects in the game some pretty neat stuff and then this is maybe the best thing about it is just at any point you can start flying in kind of a drone mode and um, we'll go up first. All the detail on the exteriors of the buildings is all really, really good. The interiors are a little lacking or a little repetitive, but uh, man, I'm really excited to see you know the games of the future uh, as they flesh out as they take this kind of engine and then flesh them out completely it's very very exciting prospect but this is my favorite thing to do is just get on the roads and go really fast in drone mode it's honestly pretty intense
That looks pretty incredible, in my opinion. Okay, I want to show you one more of those markers. It's the one right in the middle of the city. And the city that you can explore is its pretty sizable. It's this entire kind of inner city here. Uh, the cityscape you can see on the outside, on the outside of that waterway, you can't actually go to it at least in the places that I've tried you can't you can only do this inner city but from here of course it looks pretty small but in real kind of uh, time if you were to drive from one side to the other uh, it's not small it's not a small area it's impressively big for a tech demo okay just one last thing There's a little uh, jump, like obstacle course. It's actually, I think it's in the southwest part of the map. I'm not going to go there, but there's a little area that's kind of like this under a bridge that has just a bunch of ramps that you can try to do tricks and jump up onto like the overpass on. So I'll show you what this middle plaque does and then we'll do some we'll get in a car and do some driving here we go so you've seen the city in the daytime now and then this changes the entire thing into night and it's way more than just lighting effects. It is uh, a full... Remapping. Uh, I don't know if that's the right technical term, but it, it, it literally changes every piece of the, the area uh, and the way that light interacts with all the objects. It's really impressive to me. I don't think it covers the whole city. Uh, it lets you know that it's in it's kind of an experimental in this tech demo, but at least here near the center of the city, it, it's pretty flawless, I think. So let's drive around a little bit at night. I'll carry us out with a good brutal wreck, hopefully. Got to find something worth driving though. So you can't steal cars that have pedestrians in them, but you can get in anything that's on the side of the road. And of course the, uh, the collisions and the physics is pretty good to be, you know, again, just a tech demo that's not really focused on on physics and collisions. Running into people just turns them into matrix code. Driving has never been my strong point. I don't play a lot of driving games. And, uh, and the driving in this is a little, it's a little stiff. It's not super easy to make fine tuned uh, adjustments as you're going. <laughs> I was hoping for a wreck as I was facing backwards, but of course that would be my best driving is when I of the camera facing my way.
really cool though overall and again main thing makes me very excited for the future of what games are going to look like so if you have a chance i highly recommend jumping into this and uh you know trying it on your own there's i think there's lots of places you can go on little easter eggs there's not a ton to to actually do but i do find it oddly satisfying just to explore this kind of mostly empty city uh, i've enjoyed it i haven't you know put too much time into it or anything but i played for about 30 45 minutes maybe last night just exploring and looking some looking at some of the different map markers in the game and um I, yeah i found it found it uh, oddly satisfying to just explore this world and and again maybe it's a lot of the excitement about what this is going to become and thinking about a complete world built in this engine but that's fleshed out completely you know into a true rpg type game um It's extremely exciting. So yeah, check it out if you can. And I will see you guys very soon.